after I read The Perks of Being a Wallflower, it kind of left me with a lot of unanswered questions. Just basically about society and what everything actually means. And who better to ask than the professionals, aka my peers. So, what would you say the biggest problems in high school are? Um, I feel more like fitting in is one of the problems and bullying. Well, like, there's bullying and there's peer pressure. But like peer pressure is a big issue with people because they want to fit in, so they'll do things to seem cool. I think the problem is the pressure to fit in, probably. I think kids are trying to find out, like, what they want to do and who they are. They like to try and impress other people instead of just being themselves. Or they should just be themselves. I think that kids face today, I face similar problems, you know, um, as, as kids in years past. Um, I think that, it, I think socially, high school is a tough time. Um, and there's a lot of things that go in, in, to that social aspect of high school. There's um, peer pressure aspect, there's the pressure aspect, just trying to you know, get through high school and succeed and trying to get to college or move on. The underlying theme I see here is peer pressure. So, how important are your friends to you? Um, very important. They keep you. They keep you up the times you're down. Uh, you're pretty much. They're <laughs> gonna be there throughout your life, so you want them with you, and you can have a great time with them. My friends are like everything to me. I don't know where I would be without them. Very are important. important. Yeah. Friends They're are the ones that are there to share things all the time with you. Yeah, and like a friend. Like, there are things you can't talk to your parents about, and there are things you can't talk to, like, teachers about, so friends have to be the ones that are there for to talk about, like, anything. Probably when you be in, like, the sports system, uh, schoolwork would probably go downhill. And yeah. That kind of got me thinking. Do looks matter? Sometimes. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think to some people they do more than others, but all that should matter is how you feel and if you think that you look good and it's all that counts. I think the way someone, I think it shouldn't be that someone looks good or looks bad, it should be like if someone looks the way they want to look. In the perks of being a wallflower, how different is Charlie from the normal teenager, or even you? I think Charlie was portrayed as being like shy, kind of like timid, like that kid that you walk by in the hallway but you don't really notice. So I think there's a lot of kids like that, but you don't necessarily know what they're going through. I think <laughs> I think the fact that Charlie like goes through all these like crazy things that like high schoolers go through all the time, it makes it so he's relatable to a lot of people, but also like totally crazy and different that it makes us look at everything differently. Uh, I think the only difference between Charlie and normal teenagers are is that his the qualities are made into extremes in order to get the point across. Like everyone faces similar problems to what Charlie does, but he just has them taken to a little bit further level. Um, I would say he's just kind of lost in his life right now. He doesn't know where he is and is trying to find it out. I mean, all of us are trying to find where we are. Charlie isn't afraid to say what's on his mind. And he doesn't really care if he doesn't fit in. Like, I feel like Charlie is who we all kind of want to be. Like, we all kind of want to be able to say what we really think and not censor it. In society, we all strive to becoming the best, achieving the most, and obtaining the most wealth and happiness. We put on a front, as a mask if you will, to hide our flaws and look as close as perfect and normal as we can. Competition among everyone is so strong, it's like who can fake looking the best and all put together. In reality, we are all the same, despite the separate looks, culture, and preferences. But still, we judge those who show flaws. They get categorized as weak, a wreck, crazy, attention seeker, ridiculed for what? Being human, showing things everyone feels. We all are like Charlie. It's just that we try to hide who we actually are and our feelings to get perceived in our society as perfect.
I don't have enough friends. We don't have any friends, so we don't have a group. We have each other. Being a wallflower is relatable to everyday people, or are they? I have all the kids that want to go do drugs, and their friends kind of press them to do it. <laughs> um, I don't like other things would probably be bullying, uh, not like knowing what to do with certain things, like say, uh, you know, one of your friends is is like gonna have a like, problem in life. I don't know. Like, just get that. Just, just edit that out. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about.